Today I'm going to show you how to set up the parameters with the software on the computer of TAS. So first of all, you need to download the driver and upgrade the device on your computer. You can go to the Radio Link website to download all the necessary tools. Is if it, the website you open is in Chinese, you can change the language here and then go to the firmware download and scroll down and you can find the TAS firmware here. The driver is on the top of the page, so click to download and because the, the file you download is zip, zipped, so maybe you need the tool to unzip it. Here is the tool provided on the website as well. So let's unzip the file. And then there are two files in the document. You need to update the, the device first. So click the driver for Win 10. And then you can see you you need to remember the the file location. Then right click PC your computer and choose properties. Then there's a device manager. And there's a port here, a port here. So you right click to update driver software. And browse my computer for driver software and choose the and browse for the file you just downloaded we just put it there the down the chrome and then select the the com file and click next and then it will say windows has determined the driver software for your device is up to date now we close it close it and then we go back to the file we just download the upgrade drive and click the other file before you install it, you need to connect your transmitter TAS to your computer by a data by a USB cable of data transmission and then switch the transmitter on and then click the setup exe to install the driver Wait a little bit, like half a minute, 30 seconds, and then the driver install success means the driver has been installed successfully. We click OK. Then we move to next step. How to set up the parameters by the software in your computer. We need the tool as well. So we click to download the tool, parameter setup tool for computer. parameter setup tool so we unzip it then you can find a tool here double click it and there's you need to click choose the correct com port like I just checked my computer is com5 so you choose com5 here and then click open to connect switch on your computer and turn on and then we click read see the version we just we just upgraded our firmware is v version 301 so here this is 301 and it's stick mode 2 this and then when this part turn gray it means that the computer is connected correctly so after you click the open and it turns to off you need to click read to to input the data from the transmitter into the software and when you whenever you click read there's a 2d sound from the transmitter so let's try to modify something from try, try to modify the data let me see 
twenty. Twenty. Then let's click save. It was saved as an, a file. So I put it here. Save it as more than one data. Save. And then once you then when we finish up modify the data we need to click update and there's a D sound from the transmitter means that the data are all input into the transmitter successfully so whenever you modify the data don't forget to click update to input the data to your transmitter and then let's try to modify something again this is Okay, we just put it here. So let's put it one, two. This is 50, 50. So this is 96, 96. And then we click to save. So let's save it, for example, as model two. Save, and we just click update to input the data into the transmitter TAF, TAFB so then we disconnect it and whenever you need the data you just save them like the model one we just switch on the, the transmitter and click open and then you click load to browse to choose the, the model just selected so model one we just save it as model one file name and click OK. See the data has been input into the software. So don't forget to click update to input the data into the transmitter. So what if you want the, the data back into back to factory default for example? So if you need the default data close the, the parameter setup tool, open and switch on the transmitter, click open to connect the transmitter. All the data here are default one, factory default ones. So you just need to click update and all the default data has been input into the transmitter. Make sure to click update. So if you need the model one data, we just saved, Hit, click load and browse the data here, model one for example, and then click OK. See, the model we have just saved has been, have all input into the software. And don't forget to click update to input the data into the transmitter. And that's read to read the data here and uh, you can of course this is the transmitter al alarm you can modify the voltage and the stick mount and this is all for today's showing you how to how to set up the parameters in the software of the computer and how to upgrade the firmware firmware and uh, the steps are exactly exactly the same for TAS just make sure that you download the correct firmware especially for TAS and that's it